Hi guys, Dr. Joe Brown here. I had a couple of emails uh, in terms of what do I do if I have diabetes type 1, type 2, what kind of foods can I eat, what kind of foods should I be avoiding, and then what is a high glycemic index versus a low glycemic index, and what does glycemic index even mean? So what I wanted to do was I just wanted to kind of briefly talk, talk to you guys about this and kind of help you guys answer those questions. So um, what is a glycemic index? A glycemic index essentially means how long is it going to take for the sugars in that food to break down into sugar in your system? Okay, And obviously, if you have diabetes, sugars is your main concern. What is diabetes? Diabetes essentially is your pancreas throws out insulin and it throws out blood sugars. Okay, And it does this off and on all day long, 24 hours a day, even when you're sleeping. And so depending on the types of foods that you're consuming, that you're eating, uh, things that you're drinking, things of this nature, your blood sugars will raise up, and when it does that, your pancreas will put out insulin. And that insulin is put out there to help kind of confiscate or get rid of the high blood sugars in your system. Once the insulin approaches a higher level than the blood sugars, eventually your body, your pancreas, will shove out a bunch of blood sugar in your system to then re-get your blood sugars back up higher. So it's, con it's this constant up and down struggle between blood sugars and blood insulin levels release from your pancreas, okay? So when, if you're talking about somebody who is overweight, who's having a hard time losing weight, or this is just a thin or average person that it's dealing with diabetes, okay? And especially a type two diabetes situation. Things that we wanna make sure that we're doing is that we're, we're doing things on a daily basis to bring those blood sugars back down. So what are those things that we can do? Number one, avoid white products, okay? And what do I mean by that? You want to make sure you're avoiding white flour, white sugar, dairy products to some degree. Now, some dairy products will actually keep your blood sugars low, but overall, we want to get rid of the white containing products in your, in your life. So that's really going to be like we were talking about white flours, white rice, things of that nature, okay? So we want to switch you over from white rice over to something like quinoa, for example, or brown rice or grain rice. We want to get you off of breads really completely, but if you're going to have a little bit of bread, let's switch you over to like a hemp bread, a seeded bread, a spelt bread, things that are going to be made more out of grains versus the, the white kind of wheat component, okay? Um, here's one of our products that we actually specifically use. Now, you've actually probably seen this on some of your videos before, or some of the, I'm sorry, some of the videos that I've shot here before. This is going to be our blood sugar weight control product. Now, it's going to obviously help to decrease your blood sugars and help kind of stabilize a healthy blood sugar insulin ratio in your body. And by doing that, it'll also help you to lose some weight, okay? So what we also do is we also combine our dietary program of for diabetic patients or for, or for people who are trying to lose weight with a number of our supplements that we have, as well as with a diet and exercise routine. Because again, we wanna get rid of those foods that are high in a glycemic index compared to foods that are in a low glycemic index. So if you are a diabetic, kind of recapping here, if you are a diabetic, you wanna be eating and consuming foods that are low glycemic index foods. And if you are a diabetic, you wanna make sure you're avoiding foods that are high on the glycemic index, okay? You can go onto Google or onto Bing and you can type in foods high in glycemic index and then you can type in foods low in glycemic index. Print those out, put them on your refrigerator or take those with you to the grocery store. And that way you know what foods to avoid and what foods to uh, eat more of or have more of, okay? If you have any other questions on diabetes, blood sugar stuff, high glycemic indexes, uh, feel free to email me, I'll get right back to you drjoebrown.com. Here's actually our website up here, right here, drjoebrown.com. And uh, you can send me direct emails from there. You can also subscribe to any of these videos and then we'll get back to you. And we're always posting new videos up daily. So you, you can see a number of our videos and we're trying to cover pretty much every health topic because what we're finding out is that there's too many people on YouTube, there's too many people on Google and, and quite frankly, all over the internet that are telling you to do this and telling you to do this. They have no medical background. They've never been to medical school for four years. Uh, so I'm trying to get out information to people that will kind of get you started on that right track and kind of helping you get, get healthy, stay prevention uh, 
uh, you know, kind of stay uh, disease free and kind of keep that prevention stuff going. So again, thank you guys for your support. Thanks for all the emails. Uh, you can always reach me by phone or directly by email. Again, thank you.